which way? Uh, we conducted uh, near 14 interviews with all stakeholders uh, involved into more than we want. Uh, what are the main uh, results uh, in Britain? Uh, first, uh, the main drivers. Why is this motivation? Uh, uh, because of coalition uh, between developer and uh, administrative administration. They organized so-called artificial public hearing. An uh, important uh, aspect uh, to use so-called titushka. Michael likes this term, maybe you hear this term. It's uh, guys who uh, go to, to defend the interest of the business and uh, to beat the uh, public inability to use the instruments. They know, uh, have no information about their rights, about their uh, chance to, to participate in the uh, urban planning project. Uh, citizens are learning how to defend their rights. It's important uh, step to, to, to know how to defend their rights. Uh, when they saw Titushka, they not uh, uh, received the right to, to see master plans. Uh, Any it was closed uh, only for secret or for, uh, for the city administration, but not for total uh, wealth. Nowadays, it's open and they can see if uh, possibility to go to court and uh, to defend their rights. And uh, the main, as for me, uh, aspect of start a real dialogue. It's important to have this step. But citizens uh, usually outside of this real two sides. Uh, now, uh, in case of that, we see the real dialogue. Experts from city administration, the most popular word, development. We should develop, we should develop, we should develop. And it's the main uh, aspect. Also, people is the most popular word. People. First of all, we should think about people, not about projects, not about building, not about uh, area, about people who will live there. And the other term, we, it was uh, far from that you now see uh, just books. But I am uh, satisfied because my project was real. And nowadays, if we have such negotiated level of satisfaction, we should know who anything else. We be satisfied with the situation. We uh, accept the situation. And uh, uh, just after uh, some of your colleagues or your young uh, researchers who are speaking inside of our school, you are welcome to contact us and we will give you some uh, information and more details. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. 
varovi sam se dobro za opravljanje, a da se dobro sam tam povedal. Ima dobro še, što bi su ga opravljali. A to je rasti za kakvi noć. Um, 
if we consider Stavetsky as a laboratory, as a way for the state and for citizens to engage in different forms of strategies and tactics and develop tools, um, what you see now is the, the Baku municipality no longer has um, agreed to do that sort of demolition in other neighborhoods, in Kubinka and Keshte, which are the neighborhoods that are next to the demolition. So I think that without the protest, um, the state would have possibly done a very similar sort of uh, development project. And I think that these protests were very important for um, the state changing its behavior. So that's a, thank you for your question. I think that I hope that that answered some some of it. Ich bin wieder von Arbeit und Konflikt, der die Kunden mit der Dame in der Stadt schon vorstellt. 
akumulirano zaobrat asetvar iz urbanistikis khoda khoda musanebis dasnis ki ara ara mati ama musanebze asukhebis asetvar metodologiebis implementatsiis tvis ro khedavto zalia mishnelovani iqo es ki kompleksuri midgom abitovats da zoberet rogos ki khalaks ekhba aisat tvis khleba ან პრობლემის გადაწყვეტ ან პრობლემა როგორ როგორც კი ქალაქს ერთება მაშინვე ის ღებულობს ეს პრობლემა თავის სპეციფიურ ფორმას და ის აჩვენებს თავის თავისებურ მიდგომას ამიტომ ეს ჩვენ წინაპირობად ხოსნა ასე შეიძლება რომ ამ პროგრამაზე შეეძლო ასე თქვა პროგრამისთვის მიმართა და ყველა დანერგარებინა ამ მიმართულებით ნებისმიერი ყველა სპეციალობის მასტერს იმიტომ რომ როგორც კი ეს კიდევ ერთხელ მიმოვლევ ეხება ურბანო სივცეს იმ წავს კომპლექსურად ამოთვითებება ეს ფენები და ზოგად და ჩვენ სისტემაში არის და ჩვენ უნივერსიტეტში არის ესეთი კურსი როგორ სასწავლო კურსი შეიძლება როგორც ვერ ფინანსის და ასევე სასწავლო ნაწილის და ამ სასწავლო ნაწილში არის არჩევითი საქმეები და არის ნუ სავალდებულო საქმეები და რადგანაც ჩვენ აი ეს ფაქტოთი გავაკეთოთ ასე თქვა კარი ჩვენ შევარჩიეთ რამდენიმე მიმართულება ამ არჩევითი საქმეებისთვის რომელიც ზოგადად ჩვენი ქალაქისთვის ქალაქებისთვის არის ძალიან აქტუალური სადაც ჩვენ ჩიუდება ნამდვილად სპეციალისტები უფრო დიდი რაოდენობით და ესეთი ეს იყო ესეთი საქმეები როგორიც არის ურბანული ეკონომიკა ურბანული ეკოლოგია ურბანული ტრანსპორტი და ესეთი ჩვენ ასე თქვა ყველა საქმეში ჩავდეთ ყველა საქმეში ტრანსპორტში მათ შორის ჩავდეთ აი ეს ასე თქვა ეკოლოგიასთან თავისი დამოკიდებულების საკითხები დია და სხვა საინტერესო ალბათ აუდიტორიისთვის ის იქნება რომ შევეცადეთ იმისათვის რომ ეს ინტეგრირება ასე თქვა ნაკლები შეცდომები მეტი დისკუსიის საშუალება ყოფილიყო შენ შევეცადეთ რომ საფუძვლად გადვიდო ამ ეს პროგრამისთვის ასევე პარალელურ რეჟიმში დავამუშავე ხელშეკრულება რომლის მიხედვითაც დოქტორანტებს დაცვის შემდეგ საშუალება ექნებოდათ რომ მიეღოთ ორი დიპლომი ეს იყო საქართველოს ტექნიკური უნივერსიტეტის დიპლომი და ლისაბონის უნივერსიტეტის დიპლომი ა საქმე მაშინ რომ მაგნიე პროდუქტისა და ჩვენ მოახერხე ძალიან თქვილი იყო ამ პროგრამის მომზადება ჩვენთვის იმიტომ რომ აი ამ საკითხების ამოწერის შემდეგ ჩვენ მოდი ძალიან ინტენსიური ურთიერთობა ამ დარგის სპეციალისტებთან და ისტა ქალის ინტეგრირებულად ცდილობით რომ ეს საკითხები ასე თქვა ურბანულ ჩრდილში და ზუსტად ისე დამკვიდრდა რომ ასე თქვა მომავალში ისინი ბაზისად ასე ცარჩულად ყოფილიყო გამოყენებული თბილისის და საქართველოს სხვა ქალაქების გადასაწყვეტად მაგრამ ამ საქმეებმა შეიძლება ზუსტად იმ პერიოდში გადიოდა ჩვენ უნივერსიტეტები ევროპული ევროპულ აკრედიტაციას ჩვენი უნივერსიტეტი იყო ერთ-ერთი პირველი თანამი რომელიც გადიოდა აკრედიტაციას და სამწუხაროდ ზოგიერთი მოთხოვნა ჩვენს მიერ ამბებ არ იყო სათანადო გათვალისწინებული იმიტომ რომ წინასწარ ჩვენ არანაირი ასე თქვა ასე არ ჰქონდა ჩვენ მოქმედებით სტილოზით რომ მე მოქმედებდა ეს პროგრამა მოგვევს ადამინა ევროპული სტანდარტების მიხედვით მაგრამ ზოგიერთ საკითხში დაობედრობის გამო ზოგიერთ საკითხში ამ ამბებად ნუ ჩვენ აკრედიტაცია ჩვენ პროგრამის ვერ მიიღეთ თუმცა დაგვიანებდეს რომ გარკვეული ინფრასტრუქტურას და დაკავშირებით გარკვეული ცნობები შემთხვევაში გარკვეული რეკომენდაციები გარკვეული ცნობები შემთხვევაში 
Iisra Dantie Buda, Chris Esrich, Jan Program is Agritacii Sakrihi. Ja tu es Program Agritire Vulikne, čo je mi praktikula Čevitane. Tak, oli su ide bude zogi, zogi je ti ekspertem zgat, ule sa hvatim njeri, mi so ide bude zogi je ti, čo je tu ton, ki ga dama rezit, ča te tam programa šite. Im še to še če tu mili ga tam akreditacija si, ali se je embris tve še če ne bude neka sašo ali ban, če to še kule pa ki če ide, je se po kucni, a neka še kule pa je tak vazda z njih sašo ali pa se to es odmah in ti pomisnjema na se tva zalaši da čez. Ta bi se budi cina, ki robe bi ude sami, sam bi še zleba programam tamo, ki ne bila, da si nošal smo ga tu, iz ki robe bi ne da su v domen smo še kule vaši aris. Mi ti te budi maš nam še v tom še, jaz se ki, so da sta ne smeri mi ga, vsa jam v ori, v ori, v njoj ste kaj s diplom z Haris, Haris sajmo v univerzitetši. Da, 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 vsak kunde zanjen in kaj si ubi utjetova. Pa to nja, to nja vlast program, ko bo jih mali, bo nja maš igreva zelo, v teraz smo si zelo vnu sadjem, ko sta mi, pa to bo bila vnud ta. Da, ne dam bila, če en sased kvalit za studente, vse, ne pa bi se do razgovi, sad moram se te zlijeli pri vsebi, a ja mu kaj, ker bi se razno sprosi skrat, ker bi se mi sad. Jaz se slati bo gled, Nam bi na te kapi od stara dine z programa. Ja imam program še sam, od tam još mogu bi še sam. Ajde, finiče. Kako bom četiri malo pa ljubo, da ti nače nekaj še nekaj 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 Ljudi ramen ne radat, ramen rade še ne med s čem ja tudi tvojim samo skušil te mogu na rahnes. Razreda sa se pa publike, da se ne zato ne. Ampak jo, ki jo je bilo, ki jo je z univerzitečji, ovi se bila, da je zala še vida, v vanjski programa, v ovi za zvede pa bila, da v Amzaven su ne, ni zacega, sam da v sve, v Amz sa žele na skopo mači v tudi gleda, in tu nekaj sa pa bila ni v drugo tako, že je z programa da je delo na podnosi sa tehniku v univerzitetni spiši, ampak samo to je, je tam so vpročeni, konceptualno še te druge, pa doktorantov iz dolne se programe, da sem tudi tekst program, ali si bo leda sastavljeni program, ali bo leda vsak prevajen vis, sa so pa čamo kaj bo leda leda, ampak ne bo leda, ker so nami, sa so pa posadila leda program, ampak sastavno govorne bi še gledali v Sirija, tudi se ljudi bilo vračeni v Belgi, kaj še bilo spitovi vlaga, si to rad normalisti, kaj zara, ne je tudi nad sferov, ali si nam ne bilo sferov, da sva da sva 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 sferov in s konfiguracijo in sveto vodec. Zdi tada tesari plevo, zdi tada tesari plevo, zdi tada tesari, kaj sem v tebi še bi bil se našlo, ovdje, sada ne bilo posledi, tam še na hakine glavo bi dajo. Jer te tu ništa dovali, ki jo vidite ti izcari, kam v pehe neba in misli, da sad studente bi, a pa še pač ti izmisli, da je bi doktorane bi, a se bi da. A to sem zdi, če bi zdaj ne saj, ki so jih teba, pa bo mi to tris, so mi se predstavili, ki bi tako ustavo zda, ki je tukaj, da so podpisali odnes, žurnalist, ako je tako žurnalist, editorija, tako, a je rad, ali si s odpomljeni, bo ne pocetni tukaj. Nesnjeve pa saj nekaj sem pa, ne vrem tudi žurba saj nekaj. Ne vrem razli, da se mi da povedem, da imamo ovako nekaj da dobrost, kaj pa še je dobrost, ki pa pa je vaš saj, ne saj nekaj. Povrem pa, če je tako pa da je tako nekaj dobro, kaj pa tudi je s polmi, s nebarom in nikaj, a kaj ne bilo izpelo, da vrem nekaj izali. Vrati pa čakljivi, programe iz naopak se ne paši, a ne pa vrati pa tam programe iz dizajnska, kaj se nekaj. Če mi tukaj zloga bi jaz se sedi, ne vrem to, rad in da vas sa vod. Ne vrem, mogo rad in da vas sa vod, a ne sem vrem, 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 Ani niste bistvo sa zreba, a je rad, to ga je vrba hlav, da rogo vrhe, da od rogo vrhe, da mi ni ga rovec. To ga da dekti rakaj, sa se tukaj samo malčem predime, ali si zrovo. Zdaj, da je rovo, čo je, naj si pa, pa še rovo, 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 pa še rovo,
uh, about the space, we feel the interactions between different tissues and so on and so on. So finally, at some point, our legal system changed and there are no such restrictions right now. So actually, suddenly, all the enterprises that made uh, and have some experience with spatial planning started to hire mostly geographers to work on spatial planning. Why? Because of methods, because of digital form of spatial data. Uh, as fast as we started to use GIS, uh, Geographic Information System, and the <coughs> software that is devoted to GIS, our strength started to be visible among those who already did a lot of spatial plans. So, uh, from our perspective, the convergence is also to be acknowledged uh, by law uh, as those who may be as equal as architects in, in, in working for, for spatial planning. So, I would say, I know that it's not exactly the convergence in, in, in the, you know, the common a way of thinking, but as I told you, I sit in, in a different, on, on a different levels of, uh, of what we do as, as teachers and scientists. Uh, another issue, when we uh, created the program of spatial management studies, uh, there is a convergence between scientists, practitioners and citizens in the program of the studies. And I don't believe that we could educate good spatial planners without students learning from scientists, learning from practitioners, and learning from citizens. How can we introduce uh, citizens in the program of studies? Because it may look like a, sound like, a, like a strange idea. For example, there is one course where our students create the project for so-called civic budget. So basically, they have to prepare something that um, the citizens would, citizens would vote for in the competition for the projects that will be published by the local authorities. So they, even when they have some ideas, even when they, uh, even when they know the legal issues of planning, they have to think as citizens, because citizens will vote for the projects to win, and actually the projects that win are actually made by the city. So they also, that's how we talk, which, that's how we teach them, that there's actually, actually a chance to go from idea to make it real. Exactly. This is something rather new, because before that, Teaching spatial planners was mostly either teaching them about the legal rules of planning or just teaching them about you know, how to draw a plan or only uh, about the environmental issues of planning. Right now, I don't believe it's possible to teach one without everything else. Uh, it opens a serious issue. Who should teach as teachers? Uh, as I told you, I work at the Institute of, uh, Institute of Geography. We don't have a program uh, that we could, uh, you know, use uh, for um, uh, for a didactic program uh, made by few different institutes, three different universities. So, and at the same time, it's just impossible to hire specialists of every field you need. Uh, but still, we ask architects to give at least few hours of lectures as a part of the program. We don't pretend that we know everything. I think this is the worst that may happen. Sometimes people who teach uh, spatial planning from a given perspective, they pretend that they can teach everything. This is a serious issue. Uh, I don't want to, uh, to, to speak to too long. Uh, maybe one last, one last uh, thing. One last thing, which I also realized after teaching uh, the students uh, for a few years, uh, they are too much 
They are too much uh, into the city as an administrative unit. Uh, because usually the data that they can work on is the data for the area in certain city, this, uh, city limits. They should start to think about the city as a much larger body. Uh, this is something that we also have to change. Not to be so, you know, concentrated on, on administrative limits when we try to solve urban problems. Thank you. Sorry that it took me so long to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we understand that it can't be shorter because otherwise it doesn't make sense. So we have this kind of contradiction with time. On the other hand, an expression with the other. So uh, I think it's, it's fine. Let us, let us say what we want and then we discuss and say the how we will wish it. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you've heard a little bit about, about our experience, uh, and uh, I understand that uh, um, uh, we have to work with you. I, we listen as we work with GTU and the TSU. So we have not worked with you. How do you feel about it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, my question is, um, in, your, uh, in your convergence, what has your school done? And then the second part of the question is, what, whom, and how are you doing this, this effort of pedagogical effort, this convergent effort. Um, that's what I think we would like to hear about. So basically, uh, how is this conversion process happening or not? If yes, or why not? Yes. Um, and uh, between, uh, between, between universities? Between universities and especially because it is the theme, the theme of this conference is, is, is about convergence because of the uh, agreements with the EU. And so, how does this convergence happen? For example, uh, um, uh, uh, your Piotr mentioned the importance of new tools such as uh, geographical information systems to give them an edge over the architects. You know? um, I mean, that is a convergence tool that has change the tables, and that's very interesting. I, I'm sorry, I'm just jumping the gun a little bit on this, but I think it's kind of one of the things I got from your message, you know. Uh, I still didn't get very much about this conversion to the European Union, but, uh, um, uh, but I would like to. So, yeah, you have the floor.
students also to learn from this experience. Um, we have been uh, working on uh, Soviet housing system and what has changed and comparing it to the Eastern uh, German uh, um, housing system and what, how, what had happened there. We also worked on uh, with the French students together on Smaltugo and Chiatura and uh, what happens to the cities which are shrinking and how to redevelop it. Uh, so we had several projects which were very uh, much hands-on and uh, I think it was uh, very interesting for uh, our students and I think also good for as a teaching, although I have to uh, express that theory and research and reading of uh, the uh, literature is uh, super important. Uh, we, uh, <coughs> yeah, we find that it's not very important, interesting for students, but they have to. Um, uh, converging, uh, we had, uh, we worked with, uh, right now we work with uh, uh, TU Braunschweig, uh, which is uh, located in, uh, near, uh, in Germany, uh, um, and we work with the uh, Institute of Sustainable Urbanism, uh, Vanessa Carlo is the head of the project, uh, 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 and I uh, uh, think uh, we have been uh, uh, exchanged, we have been collaborating, the students have been uh, in Tbilisi and working on uh, Soviet housing system, and two of the master students did the uh, Sabutalo area, and how they could be developed Sabutalo area, and studied Khrushchevkas, and uh, uh, houses in this area. Uh, also, some of the students have been in uh, Germany and studying for half a year there. So we're trying to learn from them and uh, some, uh, in some parts they're also learning from us. So we're trying to collaborate. Well, yes, I understand that uh, you are with the university, and uh, but however, you originally are from New Mexico. This is a place that I know fairly well, um, and um, from uh, 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 you know from an American slash Tbilisian. Can you be here for all? I don't know for about five years. So <laughs> I would I would dare to say that. Uh, America slash Tbilisian uh, 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 approach and uh, um, having uh, the American experience, which is, by the way, I don't know if you realized, uh, but uh, we uh, have designed uh, in Europe, in the European Union, uh, uh, the, the, the process of Bologna, which you've all heard about probably, the yeah, idea and the concept of ECTSs. You know, um, and uh, that is a conversion school. You know, I think we have copied very much, we Europeans have totally copied the American educational system on that regard, you know. Uh, it's a great system, by the way. Plagiarized, we in the European Union plagiarized the American uh, uh, university academic system. And so, uh, we've seen these conversions happen. Did you get the question? I think so. Um, I mean, I'll, I can at least be able to address um, a bit of the context that I'm carrying with me. Um, I mean, obviously, the American um, planning programs that are in architecture and spatial design departments, we have planning programs that are in management and governance. Um, and so, same is true. Same program or the same uh, degree can have radically different directions or vectors of where. Um, energies or focus and research questions are being corrected. Um, and so, you know, what I, I guess one of the main things that I see um, here in Tbilisi, let me just give a quick background on exactly the free university um, program that I'm a part of, because if EVA is in American universities, I just think there's a really big difference in the responsibilities of teaching at those two different levels. Um, and I think that that's particularly true. So, uh, you know, within the specific context of um, uh, a free university um, as a bachelor's program. I think, you know, on the one hand, we have a, um, a 
is really a sort of critical thinking type degree in the end. Um, you know, it's using architecture and urban questions to ask much broader questions. And so I don't think, I don't expect my student point that um, if you asked about um, what should be taught, how should it be taught, etc. Um, I do think that um, developing that academic ecology here is a really important, um, but it's to really in some ways um, look internally a bit at some of the convergences and not so much see these different institutions as a richer ecology for graduate level work. Well, thank you very much, um, Jesse. The, now, uh, the uh, international area, um, I think that, uh, I mean, you already, and so uh, the, 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 the question basically is the challenges that you face today, uh, the challenges that you will be having in the future. Thank you very much uh, for that. And uh, um, welcome to the now growing family of uh, architecture and planning institutions. And I'm sure that you will be in a leading position because uh, you have all of the resources. That's on that. Um, to answer your question, I probably have to step back uh, <coughs> a little while. Um, looking at the audience, I'm older than most of you here. Uh, and actually, when I uh, did my PhD, it was called the Candidat Architecture, it was horrifying, 36 years ago. And because we didn't have a panel here, uh, no dissertation council, I had to defend my thesis in the Moscow University uh, Institute, Sneak Rathasaitis, so so you remember that. Uh, institution, but that was the only one really. Uh, why I'm saying that? Uh, when I was doing my PhD uh, thesis, I thought that uh, urban, urban planning was part of architecture, like physical planning, and that's what, how they were teaching. But the best, uh, uh, best uh, reference I received from this university, from Vaja Gujavice, who had the uh, Department of Economic, Economic Geography, Geography in uh, 1982, uh, and um, it was really the most profound one. Then I went to England for a year in the University of Birmingham. I suddenly realized that the Center for Urban Regional Planning was part of social science, so I was sort of at lost. Where is it? Is it geography? Is it physical planning architecture? Was it social science? And then answering your question about the challenges, uh, convergency, internationalism, we are doing now the master uh, uh, program with Technical University of Berlin, and it was Technical University of uh, Dortmund, but it uh, slowed down because the lady who was running in the technology moved to Aachen. Now we probably will be doing that with TU Berlin and TU Aachen. And uh, whatever, I mean, I'm totally lost in this situation. Who are these guys? And they are asking, who are we? I mean, what we are doing and uh, what is actually urban planning? And then, and then you realize that you are dealing with the people. Uh, sorry that I missed yesterday. Uh, it was fun actually to see the old mayor uh, or running one of the panels. I understand uh, Marmania uh, was here yesterday. And it could be I mean, a huge uh, uh, fun because uh, I guess that there will be a lot of people who would like to ask him a lot of questions <laughs> like this present mayor. What the hell we are doing? What the hell we are doing here in Tbilisi? And to be honest, what the hell we are doing in other cities in the world? What are we? Uh, basically, uh, you know, the challenges here are probably the same challenges that you have over here. Okay? Uh, maybe married with some local uh, specifics, maybe. You know, um, uh, the, the, the types of 
people who were being I mean, when we were talking uh, to to the Berlin and the Dortmund now that I had thought projects they had a very interesting programs here in Belize around Dinoshville and Pirosmani streets uh, across the river and we were talking to the real people who lived generations and now facing you know some uncertain future and so on. And uh, basically, uh, I can't answer your question about uh, internationalization. I think first we need to find out what the hell we are doing here mm -hmm. and how we are dealing with our time. The fact is, and I think most of the Georgian Indians will agree with me, we are destroying the city right now. We are ruining it. We are wiping out the memory. Uh, I have to be personally part of the responsibility because Sosa knows that I, I am in practical architecture and we are saying nice words from the presidiums of the different countries and then we are go aside and make our drawings and want an exemption to have a density increase. What about that? for me. And so on. So it's double standards and double standards everywhere. I don't know where it is the same over there. Uh, but unfortunately, we are facing the situation. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. You say, okay. So, yeah. This is more or less. What we wanted to tell in a very short time, uh, and now now it's up to you to reflect on it or also give questions. Uh, yeah, let's go to the discussion because still one thing, one question is open. So here we have problems. We have so many problems. Okay, starting, starting, and the city is still not only one city, but the, the cities in our country need something. Thank you very much for inviting me here. I will maybe uh, uh, the one of the solution of the problem of uh, our city, our capital city, at least is development of our regions. This is one of the solutions that will be stronger. Then we have less problems with this. Uh, 
I have prepared a little, <clears throat> little information that perhaps it can make sense to share with you on how uh, we, you can make 8 million euros <laughs> for your own schools. <laughs> uh, that was the recipe for ours. Uh, and uh, I think perhaps this could be uh, of interest uh, because with this is because you know for convergence you need energy. Energy is money, you know, and time. And uh, in our in our capitalist society, uh, that's the equation: time and money. So uh, that's uh, that's energy, and that's how how we can achieve certain things, you know. And, uh, and of course, the education. You know. So um, in our case, uh, what we did is, um, so the goal of this forum is to critically analyze the concepts and practices of urban planning, which have been employed as a response to the social agreement. That is the idea of this forum. Indeed, as an example of such association agreement, we at the Faculty of Architecture in Lisbon have uh, been divulging and implementing the Bologna process. Because, you know, you have, you know, you, you were asking, Nick was asking a little while ago about what are we doing here, you know, um, and uh, where are we and what are we doing here, you know. Um, so, one way of getting out of such a diffused state is by drawing a map, you know, inventing, drawing a map, saying where you want to go and uh, where you are. Uh, and so um, that's what we did. Um, so um, our project was designed onto uh, basically three pillars. The first pillar was the concept of sustainability, geared towards architecture and urbanism. What does that mean? It means that the tema, the theme of our work, the theme of our project, was architecture, urban planning, in the perspective of sustainability. Uh, with that tema, with that theme, we built a project around it. And we said, we built a map around it. And we said, in order to get this, we need to do this, we need to find these partners, such and such. We need, this is how we're going to do, this is how much time the students are going to stay, this is how many master student levels we're going to have, this is how many PhD students level we're going to have, and this is percentage from Azerbaijan, percentage from Georgia, percentage from Armenia, percentage from Moldavia, percentage from uh, 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 Belarus, and percentage from Ukraine. Okay, so yeah, I'm explaining to you in a very fast uh, way uh, what we're talking about, the map, you know. Uh, the second pillar um, was doing the adaptation, the convergence of these universities. This is often, you know, I, I, I can't see with this and I cannot see with it without them. Now, when I read down, I can't read anything. When I look at you with this, I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is terrible. Anyway, so, that's why I keep taking them out in, in and out. Um, anyway, so, but that's what I was talking to you about a little earlier about convergence. Um, because um, <clears throat> you have to adapt, you have to change. Because the things that exist right now or in the recent past don't fit, don't converge. And when things don't fit, you know, it's impossible to get grades, it's impossible to get uh, 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 equivalences, it's not equivalent. What you study here, you spent one semester studying here, you go back to Lisbon, and it's not worth anything. Well, that's a cash bond, you know? <laughs> and, uh, uh, so, um, and the same thing happens with you, you know? I mean, I remember, for example, I was asking you about the problems of the past, in terms of convergence. I can give you one. Ukraine, for example. Ukraine, as I said, uh, is our partner, is our partner. And, uh, uh, you know, the students would come to Lisbon, they would do their exams, and then they'd have to go back to Ukraine and do the same exams. You know, this is not fair. This is not right. You cannot have that. You should not have that. And the third pillar <coughs> was the actual development of the 30 new WWEs, of which some of them were done with GTU and 
GSU. During this long way of development and implementation of the new double degrees, double degrees is when you get a degree from TSU and Lisbon at the same time, you know, which was what Nino was talking about. Um, <clears throat> and uh, uh, so during this long way of development and implementation uh, of the new double degrees in architecture, we verified the following educational organizational challenges. These you know, when I asked about problems a little while ago, I, I was thinking about my own problems. You know, what are the problems that you face? What are the problems you face? Because look, you want to know what were our problems? I'm going to answer the question that I asked you. So it's fair for everyone. All right. So, um, so one of the problems was recognition of the credits, you know, the below the crisis story by the non-European Union universities in Ukraine about you know, what I was talking to you about the exams with them. The lack of legislative two, lack of legislative support to implement the double degrees in the above mentioned countries. And third, and the most, and I repeat, the most difficult, the human factor, the bureaucracy. Uh, what's in it for me? Oh, there's nothing for me? Well, I don't care. And when somebody who's in the bureaucratic process, in the bureaucratic position, says, I don't care, it stops. It doesn't go anywhere. So, what's in it for me? I knew this, this, this capitalist in Portugal uh, that one time said, you know, hey, five finger rule, five finger rule. Hey, what's, what's five finger rule? Okay, what's in it for me? How do I get in? That's the five finger rule. Get it? That is the human factor. You know, Hashman. Anyway, um, human factor and bureaucracy has a break to smooth implementation of innovative curriculum. As to the advantages, okay, remember I also, I also asked that question. Okay, so what are the advantages? For us, uh, it was a construction of a framework, a structure, capable of receiving and sending students who are interested in developing uh, their knowledge and increase their own employability by instilling onto the students the concept of the Swiss Army knife. You know, you know the Swiss Army knife? That one that opens has a thing to cut, not a thing to open bottles, not a thing to cut nails. You know, what do you call it? Kids are No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Switzerland, we are missed that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you write that. But that one, you know, cut nails, open, wide, and stuff. Uh, so, um, so it's really important that we, uh, uh, if, we if our concern is um, our academia and our what we are teaching our students, uh, we have to be able to give them the tools, tools that are sufficiently flexible to create the opportunities for them. And uh, uh, so, I, uh, and finally, in today's highly competitive world, universities all of us also compete with each other for students and for funding. As such, the ability to invent, coordinate, and implement such projects is really important for the survivability of these universities. You know, because you have to get students from different places and get funding from different places to make your university afloat. So uh, basically, these were the answers to my questions. So now, Soso, you take the floor. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, thank you, Antonio, for this interesting kind of viewpoint which you introduced for us. You want to something with them? Yes, you agree. Okay. Thank you. Yes, uh, I would like to say a few things about uh, our experience with Bologna process and, 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 and solve some issues with it. Right now, I'm a fan of Bologna uh, process and most of my <laughs> colleagues as well, but in the beginning, uh, it was a very stressful thing that we had to deal with. First of all, the employers. Uh, they thought about bachelor studies as unfinished studies. So to offer unfinished studies was something that made us popular. Right now, of course, people got it. 
what it means, bachelor and then master studies. But you know, there was a time, and it took like a few years at least, for people to understand the concept and what it actually meant. Uh, uh, right now, as I told you, we are, we are fans of, of Bologna process because of what also Joseph said uh, uh, about uh, that there is no one uh, direction of studies that should let people be uh, special planners. Uh, because of Bologna, right now, for the masters, master level of studies, we have candidates that finish sociology, that finish architecture, that finish geography. We can learn from them and then can, then can, they can learn from each other. Because of Bologna, because it is allowed, because we basically uh, cannot put barriers for the students after different uh, bachelor studies to, uh, to apply for, for our master studies in, in, in spatial management. So after all, after all, it worked in favor of us. But the problem is that in the beginning, actually, uh, we didn't get the explanation, you know? We were not prepared for it. Suddenly someone came and told us, okay, you have to divide the program. And unfortunately, some people thought that it means that we have to put five years into three years, which was also crazy. And then there was no idea what to do for master studies. All of it we had to learn on our own mistakes, unfortunately, mostly. It took some time. We've lost a lot of power. Uh, we aged a bit because of that and so on. Also, uh, one more uh, tool that appeared uh, also uh, in, with the connection to, to, to EU, e-learning. Uh, it's also a great, uh, at least, su su support for didactic process. But still, our system is not ready for it. We, do, we, we, we don't get paid for e-learning hours. We are paid only for the hours that we teach in the room. So we get uh, contact hours. Exactly. I, I hate this term, contact hours. Yeah, because this is <laughs> Also important contact, but somehow the system doesn't get it. So you know, it's uh, so all the ideas that uh, comes with the convergence. It's after all, after years of bad experience, we see the light. <laughs> we see the light. But you know, we could probably be uh, prepared in a better way to to do this. Thank you. Thank you, uh, you Bill. Now uh, maybe. And then, uh, yeah. and again, uh, also, if there are some questions, you show me. Yeah. I'm just picking up on a few threads that seem to be coming through here right now. And um, I guess, you know, the one that uh, we have most is related to this question of um, how we teach teachers how to teach. Because I've sort of like long felt that that's like my job here right now in a lot of ways. Is to, you know, in some ways, begin that process a bit because. Uh, I can't help but feel as though like no amount of sort of like incredible institutional superstructures or inter um, institutional collaborations um, <coughs> matter unless we have that final mile closed with people who know how to teach with a faculty that's a little bit more stable and permanent. Um, I think that like that kind of institutional. Um, um, strength and growth is a piece that I notice is being particularly missing um, here right now. Um, and I think that like, that's, that, that's a piece, and I'm not sure if it's a matter of carrots or sticks or uh, like whether there's a kind of devaluation of the sort of teaching um, field itself, but it, it just feels as though the, uh, there's a structuring of a semi-permanent faculty um, is a really crucial piece to that, that entire diagram. Otherwise, no amount of international collaboration seem to um, matter in the long run, right? They, they, they sort of fill uh, a gap to get money into the door, but it, I don't think that it sort of um, turns into sort of a meaningful change on the ground. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to go uh, back to Dr. Antonio's comments and uh, uh, say that uh, 
year, uh, we should do uh, one uh, thing is that we should give students tools, teach them tools how to do something, how to do or how to find the information they are looking for. Uh, and we also need to teach them how to work on interdisciplinary projects. I believe that uh, gradually um, there could be no such like one faculty and uh, uh, a lot of, uh, of different disciplines will be uh, combined and it will be interdisciplinary teaching, studying and part of the practical work. Uh, it won't be divided that just architects are working on one architecture project because it's already in the real world, the architect is uh, not independent anymore. Architect uh, or uh, engineer, sustainable, analytical, uh, urban designer, wood plan, they are all working together. Uh, unfortunately, not in Georgia, but in other countries, this is what's happening. And I think this should be happening in Georgia too. And uh, uh, I am always so uh, eager to collaborate with different uh, we can call them departments or programs, uh, such as maybe geologists, or uh, we have energy uh, 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 department, or even with business uh, um, uh, school, so that students learn how to collaborate and how to do interdisciplinary work. And it, I don't know, I just feel, I, I think that we are going towards this direction more. Yeah, look, uh, well, I think the right so uh, thank you. Uh, Nick, you want to also to uh, do that. Or, or maybe you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, on the educational side, uh, Georgi Kabunia uh, can share the experience of actually two systems because he uh, had three years in Lisbon University and San Antonio and he did uh, for his PhD studies. He came back and now he is going to finish and defend here, and that is a striking moment here, the difference between the systems, uh, how it was there, how it was here, and probably he have, can have a few right. words. Um, then I have one more thing. Yeah, okay. Let, let, let so you, you want to answer the answer the question, right? Yeah, I, I, that's different, so yeah, therefore, I think I'm going to listen to you. Ich habe mich nicht mehr so gut gefühlt, wie ich mich nicht mehr so gut gefühlt habe. Ich habe mich nicht mehr so gut gefühlt, wie ich mich nicht mehr so gut gefühlt habe. Ich habe mich nicht
bolj projekti v našem razvijanju, projekt kreativno laboratorija Šekma. Sada se čujem v tajnošnjem dobiti Rustavis Medija Stan, arhitektu sam Stavno Šan, Rustavis Medija Stan, a se je čak tudi v Manzanja naftu, da čujem in doktora Erdin, da bomo da imali sportoga rešenja in jaz iz mozilo bi sprogramiti in preta. Shvatja še iz Georgi Romčamu, ki ga bomo dali, da Georgi je institučen kaj vizija, da kaj si se odkvati in zelo se interesu še dali biti analizi kaj, kaj kaj institučen kaj, in tu maksima ureta se odkvati v stilu vitro, jaz ga bomo tvali s tine vina, da maksima v stilu kakla, če je v kakvu pezeru, Doporam, da bi si končatno da bi ja ja prijat v laboratorijaši. Rad imam, da čujem s profesorem Tanjeka, še ta vas je bili k nam, še tam smo bili v ustavi smerija s tam tematika. Ola za problema, no efektiv, ki ne boli sam efektiv, ki ho za tukaj sam odgenili. Da, a jam vsake te zgrade svoje tašče, moj nec je drobne na studente, ki ima si urat tam, ker ima si tam, ki mu se zreba, mu da se pa kao moj takrat celilo, mi ga razkreči, tako da še vdaj, a jam si rekla bi vsa poto za šeča, medico, čgupi, arkacija, čgupi. Rovno ima zgradila, a jam prijatel laboratorija Šnuša Ova. Tja nam šlo mlobika, a se zgajem na plato, Zdaj, ki Rustavis bazalke z karhmi z bebatvodnem in car moj vlebici pancadja, da interese bolje bi, no vlebice tam šlo nobene. Germano, zakvarjam, car moj vrstan, pa tukaj imati, a jem biti karhmi z meri iz univerzita, ki sta nam šel dobi še dekaj. Še moša v specijalu je za te kursi, lekcije, ki so imeli si v njima, ki bi stvore ta jam problem iz E. Da, še vdek zustat etikli iz C, mogla prezentacija, ki so v Germaniji in Dani Bavari, vsakaj to takavši iz Carnova zelene ručamo so lebi, a se v Carnovi bi s prezidentem, a se v svatišo iz mesenata, ki se ima čartu lebi. Prednijac, ki ta cesta, ki ima ne lebi smo hlita, ne se pata s njim, da ima če bodi projekt, ki se ta ima skarda, in internet, ki mi pa, da ima če bodi ta umlita, Jaz ga imam čevo boli sami pašu in mi je pa s našem varinskim tjevanjem, še ne, jaz ni gledam njim praktika s tjevanjem. Vite, da se vdaj pa. Vam vas ima se da vam pa. No, da je zdaj, da je sami da bodi vrhnem, da je še vzelo. Ok, so, vidi pa tu. In da je bolj vidi, da je na kvom, da je zdaj vidi, da je vsa vsa vidi, da je vsa 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 Omeri znam ljubaj, da ništa v mladej, ovo za spikrot, čen, še ne se to vgrad lepši, ovdje se za akademi v vsak njega ljuba še vse vidja. Omeri nis, ni še ovo, če je gala tip sredneva in to, a ne bis še vsa vanova in ali vsa vidja, omeri, če je gala tip vsa, pa vidja, no, pa vidja, da se prizvija, ali vsa še vidja. Vidi Magova, da se tudi spis, čujem, čujem, to takaj gala ljubaj, če bo vje prednja. Prezentacije bi se sredi, da smo kolegi bi, da nakaj ovaj sati bojo treba da bojo iz, da smo pa cao ovaj, če bi da bojo s programa šina. Načo bi bi od sadice, bi bojo zdravo bi bojo biti tam, da bojo še bojo biti tam. Hvala. 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 Hvala.